America's Next Top Model was the hottest show on TV, but not everyone was feeling the smizing, shaming, or abuse. The models weren't even allowed to use the microwave. Here's proof Tyra wasn't rooting for anyone but Tyra. Warning, this video contains fast, flashing images. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for those with photosensitive epilepsy. In early 2021, Cycle 5 alum and All Stars winner Lisa D'Amato took to Instagram to speak directly to Tyra Banks. The model made her series debut when she was just 24. But since the All Stars cycle, D'Amato has been vocal about the mental and psychological abuse she received from Banks. So what's this about your relationship with your mom? My mom, she never had any like maternal instinct. D'Amato revealed that producers forced her to share the mental, physical, and sexual abuse she experienced experienced as a child. She then claimed Banks took advantage of the information, posting to Instagram, I don't know how you sleep at night. She added, You knew very well the horrible trauma that my mom inflicted on me. And you also talk so much about how you wouldn't be where you are without your mother and how powerful she is. So knowing that, you still did that to me and continued to do it to other girls, even after I spoke publicly about it. How do you sleep at night knowing that you're torturing? and poking at people's, girls' childhood traumas. D'Amato hoped to warn other hopefuls that ANTM was a sham. Despite the backlash from fans, she continues to speak out. Gina Turner was the runner-up for Cycle 24. The model suffers from alopecia. Turner made an impact with viewers during an emotional makeover where she shaved her head and began to come to terms with her natural beauty. Losing my hair was a symbol of strength. Like, I didn't know that until now. But when her season aired, Turner was shocked that producers had edited her in a negative light, all for the sake of drama. It was so bad that even her own family didn't believe her side of the story. The mistreatment didn't stop there. According to Turner, when girls were at risk for elimination, food wasn't brought to them as quickly, they were neglected at photo shoots, and they were villainized until they were kicked out. She told Oliver Twixt, We were all mentally, emotionally, and psychologically abused. Even under the best circumstances, the girls weren't allowed to eat or leave their rooms without permission from security staff. Throughout her cycle, Turner was heavily criticized by Banks for modeling for Playboy. When Turner defended herself, Banks allegedly rolled her eyes and said, You sound like a prostitute. The model says she left the show feeling shamed, traumatized, and discarded by her former idol. Adrienne Curry was crowned the first ever top model in 2003, but in the years since her win, we've scarcely heard from her unless it was about her quote, show of an experience on top model. In a since deleted Instagram post, Curry slammed Banks and ANTM for ghosting her. Curry was promised a contract with Revlon and representation by Wilhelmina Models. But neither of those ever panned out, Curry explained. We were led to believe the winner would be instantly rich and a huge Revlon cover girl. This was a lie. After the show, Revlon informed me it didn't matter who won, they were never going to have us as a model. I never got the money. To this day, I have not been paid. What is my skill set being an annoying on TV? To make matters worse, Curry claims that the Wilhelmina agency passed on her, leaving the star out of work for years. When the model reached out to Banks, she was met with silence. Instead, the show reportedly painted Curry as an ungrateful diva. Despite not winning Cycle 4, Tiffany Richardson might be the most memorable contestant of all time. After a shocking double elimination, viewers were left speechless at the sight of Banks exploding on the 21-year-old Richardson. I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! Leading up to the loud dressing down, Richardson tried to lighten the mood. Banks, visibly irritated by Richardson's lack of emotion, called the girls back and proceeded to rip Richardson to shreds. But as the model later told BuzzFeed, the unedited fight was much worse, with Banks telling Richardson, "'You can go back to your house and sleep on your mattress on the floor with your baby.'" Richardson looked back on the experience, telling the outlet, "'I went into it thinking Tyra was God. To actually see her? And the vibe is completely different. It just got to the point where I was over it. I felt like we were just there to be humiliated. 
Sarah Hartsorn has been very vocal about her ANTM experience. Hartsorn was dubbed plus size in Cycle 9 and was body shamed in an attempt to shake her confidence. The effort continued when she was given a drastic pixie cut for her makeover, but Hartsorn said she actually loved it. What she didn't like was the way her fellow contestants were treated by Banks and the crew. While Banks made millions every cycle, the girls were given a measly stipend. Hartsorn told the New York Post, We were not paid at all for being on the show. We were given a $38 daily cash stipend that we had to use to pay for our own food, and they didn't even give us a microwave to heat the food up. Hartsorn also confirmed the allegations that contestants were kept hungry and tired for the sake of drama. She said, Production kept us in the dark about almost everything because they wanted to keep us on edge, us being confused, tired, stressed, sleep-deprived, and hungry just made for better TV. We never knew where we were going at any given time. They would transport us from place to place in a windowless van, and we'd have to face every situation totally clueless. Yaya DaCosta was the runner-up for Cycle 3, but her authenticity hasn't always been appreciated. During her time on the show, DaCosta was criticized for being, quote, condescending and arrogant. And as Judge Rebecca Weinberg once observed, You have this intensity to prove your sort of Africanness, and I think that sometimes it's overbearing. In 2016, DaCosta spoke about the anti-blackness she experienced on the show, revealing to Essence, Unfortunately, 14 years later, nothing has changed. Same ignorance, new show. It took a lot of work to heal from that experience, and looking back, I feel so much for that eager, vulnerable, young version of myself. There are so many things I would whisper in her ear. Despite never receiving an apology, DaCosta has clearly moved on to bigger and better things. Casting week proved to be an emotional roller coaster, with model Hannah Cat Jones learning firsthand what it was really like to be on ANTM. She told the Sarah Scoop show in 2020, We were kind of like treated like you're given an opportunity and you're going to act like you appreciate it or else we're going to like get rid of you." When it came time to select the models to live in the house, hopefuls were given a series of envelopes. If their picture was inside, they made it to the next round. If not, they hit the road. Unfortunately, Jones received a blank envelope. Jones made a teary statement before she and the other castaways were whisked away for a send-off from Banks. But it turned out, this was all a trick. They were actually the ones who made it into the house. Jones says that it all left her feeling stressed for the rest of the cycle, worried that at any moment she could be tricked again. Angelie Preston came in third on Cycle 14. She was also the former winner of ANTM All-Stars. But Preston was stripped of her title when Banks discovered her past as an escort. Having only worked in the business for three weeks, the model felt she had been unfairly targeted. Throughout her cycle, Preston was portrayed as difficult and uneducated, making it hard to find work when the show wrapped. Preston also described what she refers to as top model prison, telling the Daily Mail, There were times when we didn't get fed. We had to film straight through 15, 18 hours without eating. The crew reportedly even withheld medical treatment when Preston suffered a stress-induced anxiety attack. She ultimately left the show with sour feelings toward Banks. Preston claims Banks' depiction as a supportive mentor was just a sham and that she was never seen outside of the panel. 19-year-old Natalie Pack left Cycle 12 under shady circumstances. After getting great feedback from creative director Jay Manuel, Pack was promptly sent home without explanation. Her elimination came as a shock to everyone. Pack told Reality TV World, It was a little strange to me, because when I got to panel, the judges didn't like my picture. And I was just like, well, are you even communicating with Jay? How can I get such good feedback from him and then have Tyra and the other judges hate my picture? It's just a little weird to me. Pack suspects that Banks intentionally chose a bad photo for judging. The former contestant also accused Banks of playing favorites. Pack also wasn't happy with the final edit, telling the outlet, I'm not snobby. I'm extremely down to earth. I'm not even wealthy. I mean, I don't have tons of money and anything like that they portrayed me as. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite reality stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.